long last, the time has come to talk about our main weapon for the 2020 season. In this series, we've talked about our protective disc, the thick bar we use for verticals, the mysterious key, and the original long bar. I'm Nick, weapon designer for Team Bloodsport, and this is our heaviest, most powerful, most stable, and most expensive weapon, the Tri-Bar. When we were designing the new Bloodsport, we envisioned two new weapons, the Thick Bar for withstanding other spinners, and the Tri-Bar for going on the offense and dishing out the big hits on well-armored opponents. If this sounds familiar, that's because the key and the long bar were designed for the original Bloodsport with the same goals in mind. If the thick bar is the spiritual successor to the key, then the tri bar is the successor to the long bar. Last time, we covered the two main problems we ran into with the long bar. Its aggressive rake and relief profiles left too little material around the tooth, causing it to chip, and it had a tendency to go unstable. To address the tooth chipping problem, we completely redesigned the geometry of the tooth. The new profile takes the 8 degree rake angle of the long bar down to 2 degrees and also reduces the relief angle to add more material on either side of the corner. The curved edges here add even more material to support the tooth, and the tooth itself has a very small radius on it to eliminate the fragile sharp edge while still being able to grab and carve through armor. While we were at it adding material, we made the entire profile reversible so that if a tooth does chip, we can spin the whole thing in reverse. With the tri-bar being so much more expensive than our other weapons, we wanted to maximize its service life. The stability problem is a bit more complicated. We're planning to do a full deep dive on the physics of weapon stability in a few weeks. Subscribe so you don't miss that. But the gist of it is that a three-arm shape is the most stable shape for a spinning weapon because it has no weak axis to tumble around. Because of this, the tri-bar can deliver even bigger hits than the long bar and still be rock solid on its axis. Speaking of bigger hits, weighing in at 78 pounds, the tri-bar is our heaviest weapon choice. That is only one pound heavier than the thick bar, but because of the way that the weight is distributed out into the three arms, the tri bar's main moment of inertia is higher. A lot higher. While the thick bar and the disc each store about 40 kilojoules of kinetic energy, the tri bar is almost at 60 kilojoules, or nearly one and a half times the damage potential of our other weapon choices. It also has more reach than the other weapons, except for the long bar, meaning that we can really go on the offense. So, now that you've seen the full series with all five of our weapon designs, which one is your favorite? Let us know in the comments. Make sure to subscribe and watch BattleBots this Thursday on Discovery Channel to see how this weapon does. Thanks for watching!